Welcome to a Will Radio speed run. This episode is entitled An Imperative Wonderland of Infinite... Imperative Wonderland? Oh, well. I'll have to fix that. Hold on. An Imperishable. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Definitely not an Imperative Wonderland. I suppose Imperative Wonderlands are also okay. An imperishable wonderland of infinite fun. Let me change that in Emacs. Okay, uh, this is a speedrun epi because I have an unexpected few minutes before my next call, so no more than five minutes. Um, I've started on a new project. I've uploaded a few videos already. So this really is the project that I wanted to start last summer that I've been thinking about for a while, but, uh, you know, I think going through the process of the videos and trying to write a book and thinking about the books and reading about writing books and just thinking about what I really want to do. And then thinking a lot about the talk I gave for the most uh, beautiful program ever written and thinking about what it would look like to write a book and thinking about finishing things and my challenges there. Just think about everything together Going back, looking at my notes um, from the beginning of the year, looking at my notes from last July, it was very clear to me that what I really want to do isn't just to talk about the scheme interpreter written relational style. Obviously, I care about that, and you know, I gave a talk on it. I've given many talks on it, actually. However, you know, there that that interpreter and its behavior is just one you know sort of reflection or one aspect of a much broader range of of computational behavior that I find interesting even if I've seen that behavior before once you look at it from the relational standpoint you often notice different things or different parts become easier or harder um, the behavior seems to change things become more flexible maybe um, there may be efficiency problems that you wouldn't have with other approaches. So I've been wanting for a long time to talk about that in sort of a more expansive thing. You know, not not talk about like big O notation or something like that, although maybe that comes up. But to just explore computation more broadly, you know, things like finite state automata I find interesting in the relational setting. I mean, they're interesting anyway, but I think they're very interesting from a finite, or sorry, from a relational standpoint. There are things like uh, obviously type checkers, type inferencers, uh, proof checkers, automated theorem provers. You know, we, you, we've talked about and explored a whole bunch of computational artifacts. Um, there are a whole bunch of artifacts that I haven't talked about or haven't written up that I've worked on with other people or just played around with my by myself. Um, and so I would like to explore that more broadly, sort of, you know, how do I view computation? And, and also, you know, from a relational standpoint, and also there's an aspect of, well, you know, I consider myself an enthusiastic beginner in this area. And, you know, I want to play around and explore and be able to talk about things that I don't have perfect knowledge of or that I don't understand completely or where where we have kind of a, a half working implementation, but it seems like there's something there that's worthwhile as opposed to, you know, the, here's the perfect thing that I completely understand, which of course never happens anyway. So that's the idea of the project. I'm starting off with the book. I started writing it in LaTeX just to get started. I think I'm going to switch to Pandoc and try that today. Pandoc and Markdown, see if I can get to that today. Um, I've been recording videos. These videos are of the silent variety. So it's me just working in silence. And that's partly because I've been having trouble finding times where I can write um, and make noise, or sorry, talk and make noise, uh, or where there isn't noise around me. Um, you know, I, I think that will come and go. My schedule is complicated enough. My working environment is complicated enough that, you know, that's just an issue that I have to deal with. Um, at some point I'll be able to make some loud videos, but I, you know, that that's hard to know what the schedule is. So some days I'll be able to do that and some days I won't, 
but I should be able to make a lot of these silent videos, which is really about me writing, which is what I really want to work on right now. So that's what I'm going to be doing a lot of. And my time is up. So um, if you want to follow my progress, you can just watch uh, the progress on the GitHub repo for an imperishable wonderland of infinite fun. And you don't have to watch a bunch of silent videos showing me typing and and playing around uh, and fumbling around. But if you want to watch me fumbling around, then you can watch silent videos. I like silent videos anyway because I have to focus on the writing instead of talking about writing. So that's what I want to be doing right now. All right. Thank you very much. Talk to you all later. Bye.